Hi everyone, it's April with Hair 101 and we are going to do something new and different today. We are going to try the leopard print. I've never done this before so hopefully it works out. I'm just doing it how I would do it. I've never seen anyone else do it so hopefully my technique works. She has long hair on this one side and then shorter on the other side, but we also have this layer right in here that we are dealing with. So we're gonna take um, like a two and a half inch strip here. And I'm thinking it's gonna need to be at least like an inch to three fourths of an inch, or um, a half an inch to three fourths of an inch wide. That's about an inch. Just so it's thick enough that you can't see through it. Cause I wanna be able to make sure we can see the print nice and thick. I don't want it to be see-through. And so this all needs to be bleached out because we're going to try to make this a caramely color. And then um, I'll show you how to do the print on top of it. But her hair, because of this little layer, I'm thinking that I might want to try to connect it down to some more fun print down in this section in here that's already kind of caramel. So this, yeah, here's my idea. Let's see if it works. She has color in here, so I have to use a bleach. I think I'm gonna do the Vermisi D color cream and probably 30 volume, maybe 40, because she says she pulls really orange. So, and then I'll probably have to tone it. So let's mix that up. I have this little section that I decided I wanted blonde and I'm gonna take it into smaller subsections and just Foil it with slicing. It'll probably need three slices. And I want to keep it separated, so I'm going to keep clipping off the unused portion so I know how much to do. And my foils are a little bit sad here. Sorry, they got crumbled in the move. And you want to make sure you get it nice and tight to the scalp. And then I'm going to show you guys these new fun spatula brushes. They're called brushes, I believe. The brush, yeah. And this is my first time using them, but cool idea, whoever made these. And they sent them to me to try. I can't remember. Probably just the brush.com, right? I don't know how to. We'll put a link below to the awesome people that sent these. And I will let you know what I think of them. And then every time I do slices with lightener, I always fold it and then flip it back over and then expose the underside. And look, it did pretty good. It got underneath the hair. I'm impressed. I didn't think it would. I'm going to just go over it again, make sure that it's nice and saturated. You don't want to put too much on there to where it's like globbing out. So I decided to do the 40 volume just because she didn't want to have orange she wants it lighter, like a light ashy caramel. I guess that's not really, like she wants like a more ashy tone for the lighter part. Right, Desiree? Yes. So we're gonna try to get it kind of light and then tone it. I kind of like these spatulas because look how much color I'm getting back out of the foil. Like you can kind of go over and scrape it down. I think this would save me on color, that's nice. One, so I did three slices. All right, so now I'm going to just kind of try to move this layer out of the way. Looks like right about there. I'll clip this out of the way so we can. And this is already light, so I don't want to put 40 volume on this. I just, I'm going to go through a few pieces and maybe just slice out the rest of the, it's weaved, you can see that. And I'm going to keep it into the ends. Let's see, maybe we can even, whoa, static, holy cow. Okay, we decided to be brave and try this 
and put some of the print down in here too. So you see how it's kind of the light already mixed with some of the dark. I'm just going to go through and try to take out a little bit of the dark in the ends. I'm going to use a different brush for this one. Blue Sand Beauty sent me these brushes and I'm liking them. They sent me a whole set of them. Look how cute this little one is. I'm having fun with these. Kind of feels like I'm just playing. I'm painting or like spreading frosting. Maybe that's more like what it is. Okay, let's see. So I don't know why we have so much static. There we go. So do you see these brown? dark brown chunks. I'm just going to pull those out and lighten just the ends. And I don't really worry about the roots on this because it's not going to show when her hair is laying down in its natural lay. Um, what is it? I can't even think. When it's styled, you're not even going to see the roots. So I'm just doing the ends that are dark. Maybe we'll do a little bit of ombre here. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of ombre here. I'm just going to try to break up this line between the two sections with a little bit of ombre technique. So back combing the hair, just make sure that the line of demarcation is softened and I'm just going to kind of hand paint on the lightener where it's a little bit darker. you guys she's just gonna process until these foils have lightened up let me check this one really quick but okay so this is how we're gonna do it we're gonna mix up the color that we need we need to have a dark brown and then a lighter brown and the dark brown is gonna be the little C shape and the lighter brown is gonna be the the middle so I mixed up a 2n in the red can fusion with 10 volume and then a 6n with a little bit of 5 gold beige in it um, with 10 volume from the red confusion line. And now is the fun part. We need to pick up this section. So comb the hair out really smooth. And then you're going to slide in some tin foil underneath. And this needs to stay really close to the scalp like this. And it needs to follow the roll of the head. If you lift it out when you do this technique, then as soon as you lay the hair down, the pattern will get messed up. So you need to make sure that it stays flat onto the head. I'm just going to extend this a little bit by clipping these in to the other clips. So now I have this working area. And I don't want these ends to be moving around. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of the ice spiker and I'm just going to take it and paint it onto the very, very ends and keep this hair all together and smooth just so it kind of stays down. I don't want it to fall over. You don't want to put it too high up because it could keep the color from grabbing, but I won't do any print down here anyway. I just don't want anything to move. Moving is bad. So now that I have it secured, you can let that dry for a few minutes. Good, it's not moving when I tried to move it. That's, that means it's working. So here's the fun part. This is how we're gonna get our leopard print. We're gonna use celery. And I found that the best pieces of the celery where they were small enough and kind of more round were right at the heart. You'll see here. That's a good one. 
So that one was good. And then also I did some cut at an angle so they could be a little bit thicker. And there's another one that I kind of peeled at. This is the one right here. So I cut this one at an angle and then chipped out just a few little pieces to kind of give it some more shape with my fingernail. So we'll see how that one turns out. And so when you dip them and lay them flat, you need to dip them. You'll dip them in the color that you want and then you'll lay them flat against it and get all the color in there. So we're gonna do the black first. So you get your little celery. And let's mix this up really good. And this is the two ends, so it's almost black. It's dark. Dip the celery in, and I'm gonna test it over here and make sure it does the shape I want. Uh, well, maybe we'll try this one first. Okay. So we're gonna go over here and pick a spot. That's gonna be our first little spot of color. Okay, now we're gonna grab, do one more down here. And you just get to kind of eyeball it and see where you want your little shapes. All right, so we'll do another one right here. It's kind of just like stamping it on there. And then, so I'm changing up the celery slices so that they kind of look different. Different angles. Try this, this one, maybe right here. That'll be fun. Let's see. Then I'm going to turn this one and kind of make it hook around a little bit like that. There we go. Celery. Who would have thunk? Huh? It's awesome. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm going to take this little angled brush. So I'm gonna take this little angled spatula that I got and I'm just gonna paint a little bit of this lighter brown color. Be really careful not to blend it into the brown or the dark, the black too much. Just smear it in a little bit there. Just in the holes. And I like this little pointy brush that I got. This is really cool. I'm reading you too. I really like this little spatula brush because I'm able to kind of dig it down into the edge with just a teeny little point. Let's make sure it's getting in this. Looks cool, right? Are you gonna see it? <laughs> You guys remember I wanted to do some underneath too? 
this will be a little bit tricky. So maybe I should have done the underneath first. Lesson learned next time. So yeah, it's, it'll be fine if I just go like that because it's glued down, it's keeping it pretty smooth. It's not even colored right there, so we're good. I can just continue it right here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab out this color right here and do the same technique that we did on the bottom, or on the top. I can't even talk anymore. So I'll put the foil in, clip it in. And we're just gonna have the leopard print start from right here where it ends. Just have it join up. All right, you guys, she is going to be a leopard or cheetah or whatever. What print is this, both? I can't tell the difference. How do you tell the difference between a leopard and a cheetah? I don't know, but you guys might be able to tell me in the comments. But we're gonna just let it process for 30 minutes and then she's gonna be rocking this leopard print hairstyle. And I'm so excited to see it when it's done. This was really fun. Thanks for being so brave. No problem. You're awesome. <laughs> All right, we are rinsing this bad boy out. And I'm trying to use cold water because then it won't bleed, but it's not really that light to bleed anyway, so. All right, we are all done, you guys. This was so fun. Like, it just felt like painting a project or something. This is awesome. And I think I'm going to try a pink one next. That would be really fun. So this is our leopard print hairstyle on my cute friend Desiree. And I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you guys try this and how it goes. I really am digging this. I can't stop looking at it. Look how fun. Turn your head a little bit. It goes all the way from the roots. This is so fun. Okay, give me a thumbs up for creativity, you guys, and let me know what you guys want to see next. Let me see if you guys try this. Let me see the results. Please give me some pictures, and let me know what you guys think. This is really fun. I like this underneath piece, too, down here. Let's see, we have a little bit more leopard. Some of it gets hidden, but it's fun. So uh, you guys need to subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you go check out April's Life and see all the fun tutorials and videos we've been doing on there lately. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Here is the Fermisi 30 or 20 volume. And here is the Redken 20 volume. And there's really not too much of a difference here, but this is the Redken and this is for me. See, I think they're really similar.